Today, I want to teach you that authors craft not just the words they use, but also the way those words are placed on the page. Authors include signals in the print, like bold or italic font, or large type, or even teeny tiny things, like commas and periods, to tell the reader how they want the story to sound. Readers, let's try to read with our best fluent voices a part of the story from the stories Julian tells without any signals. Let's see if we can do it. Where is the pudding, my mother said. Where are you boys, my father said. His voice went through every crack and corner of the house. We felt like two leaves in a storm. Where are you, I said. My father's voice was booming. Huey whispered to me, I'm scared, Huey, he called Julian. Readers. That's hard, right? I mean, who is saying I'm scared? And is it I'm scared Huey or is it I'm scared Huey he called? It's hard to know without the punctuation. Let's reread it now with the punctuation and the special print to see how it signals us to read differently and how it helps create a clearer picture for us. Now I want you to read this page by yourself, by speaking into your conch shell. Look for punctuation in bold words, or all capital letters, or italics. Make sure that you notice and follow the signals the author left for you. You may want to pause the video now as you read the page. You probably read it much differently, didn't you? The signals here, the words in capital letters, and the punctuation all tell us that we have to read these parts with more feeling and emphasis. The author, Anne Cameron, doesn't use italics to emphasize words she wants you to read with extra strength, but she does use all caps. Why do you think she does this? Maybe she wants to show that the dad was mad. She shows how the dad is feeling to show us that the dad has a really loud voice. The author wants us to know that the dad feels angry and is shouting. She even tells us that his voice went through every crack and corner. In other words, the father's voice was so loud that it filled the whole house. Wow, that's a really loud voice. And how do we know that the father's voice was angry and not just loud? Well, he told the boys not to eat the pudding, and they did. So we can use what we know about the story to read the signals from the author. You may have also noticed what Anne didn't write. Instead, she used the word whispered. Whispered and called both give clues about how to read the dialogue. You may have saw that she uses exclamation points to indicate yelling or saying things with power. Now let's remember what we know about the story and try to follow the author's signals one more time to read in a way that brings the story to life and helps us understand the characters. Where is the pudding? My mother said. Where are the boys? My father said. His voice went through every crack and corner of the house. We felt like two leaves in a storm. Where are you, I said. My father's voice was booming. Huey whispered to me, I'm scared. Huey, he called. Julian. Readers, do you see how author's punctuation and special print really bring your story to life? As you read your series books today, you will also look for ways that the author tells you how to bring 
the story to life.